In this video, we're unboxing and checking out this. It's the Go Cube. It might look like a Rubik's Cube, but it's much, much smarter. And it can help you and I learn how to solve this puzzle. So this is a kind of exciting video. This arrived this morning. I should say yes and out, it's after midnight. Uh, I have opened it quickly to check that it was what I thought it was, but this is something called the Go Cube. And I backed this on Kickstarter and it has now finally arrived. Um, I am quite interested in cubing. I wouldn't say I'm a mega enthusiast. I have a couple of Rubik's Cubes. Um, still not really much of a master of it, um, but this is hopefully where this device will come into play and also bring some competitive gameplay to it. So let's get things unboxed uh, and look at it and kind of talk to you guys about kind of my initial thoughts. So comes in some nice bubble wrap. This is a powered cube, hence uh, the notification that there is batteries in here. But let's uh, open up and see what is inside so this is how it looks a little bit of felt it's like tracing paper type material and then it has this particular here is it or particular particular can't read it upside down um and a little instagram hashtag unbox go cube start here so let's just kind of get it out of the box and uh See how things are. So this is it, uh, the classic cube reimagined. So in here I have the kind of standard smart cube and it comes with a USB charger and there was uh, an option for a stand and there was also like an elite version as well uh, for those that uh, are kind of more of a pro cuber and want even more uh, speed of movement and some different options in terms of competition. But the box and everything looks quite well uh, put together, decent materials, nice glossy quality. Um, talks to you here a little bit about uh, the fact that it does have um, Android and iOS uh, capability. It has around six, it's like a six axis um, smart center. It is using uh, Bluetooth version 5.0, I think, so it should be good uh, for, for a decent range. Um, it's pretty low on power, so I think it should last around 60 hours and has a really cool kind of lighting system. And the whole thing is kind of got the use of magnets and stuff inside, which is pretty cool. So let's continue off with this unboxing. So we just lift this up a little bit and you see the cube area with an indication here to open. So let's see if I can if just use my nail or I may have to grab my knife. Let me grab the knife so we don't uh, damage this packaging. Okay, sorry about that. So we just very gently run our knife down the edge to just put a little bit of a groove in this plastic filling. And here we can open things up, a bit like a book. Wow, and here it is. The Go Cube. So these are currently, I guess, limited edition in terms of the fact that they were a Kickstarter and you'll be able to buy them uh, in the near future, if not now, at the time of this video. And I'll put a link to that uh, down below. This is limited number 9,552, uh, as it says here, it's part of the first production batch. So we will kind of ease the cube out. It's kind of just give it a cellophane to protect it. And it's actually quite cool because um, I'm guessing to keep this safe, you're either going to want to put this on display or perhaps you may even display it in this kind of funky case um, as well. So we'll put the cube to one side just for a second whilst we finish checking out what else is in the box. Um, so we can kind of move this forwards and we can see a few things. So good is inside here, but there is also a little something um, going on here, there's a little magnet in the top that is holding that into place. And let's see, a bit more something that needs to be a little bit cut. Pop that off and pop this 
up. Okay, here we have uh, the quick start guide. So what's included, GoCube, stand and charger. I don't think I have the stand, I think that was um, optional. What you need, a device of some sort, uh, a USB source, and a connection to the internet. Um, how you power up the GoCube, so you can always just have it in a stand or just using the cable, which is what we're doing. Um, we can download the app and I'll show that to you. So we have that on one side of the screen once that's working. Uh, and then we just connect and enjoy. And a little couple of things in case we have any kind of troubleshooting and then also just a really small kind of product information guide. So the excitement continues to build. Uh, let's see what the, the goodies inside piece is all about. It just lifts up like this. And like I said, I just have um, a charging cable. I guess if you had the stand, that would be uh, in there as well. So let me just pop that off. And in a moment, I will grab um, a battery pack so um, we can power this thing up. Okay, so let's pop this all to one side here. And now take the cellophane wrap off of this, see what it feels like. Okay, plastic covering here. Oh, it's shiny. So it's a, a nice kind of plasticky feel. I don't know. I think it will suffer fingerprints a little bit. Oh wow, the smoothness though. This thing feels pretty slick actually. Yeah, no, I'm liking that. <laughs> uh, I think, can you do some edge edge cutting? Yeah, so if you're a, a really fast speed cuber guy, I know people like to be able to kind of do additional rotations as they're kind of midway through another turn. And this definitely supports it. I guess it's the magnets that they're using to kind of keep this all together. Yeah. I like it. It feels really good. It actually feels really nice, um, solid in the hand. It feels like something, it's kind of robust, but forgiving as well. So I think it's something that's gonna, gonna last. Yeah, this just feels nice and smooth. I like it. A lot. So let's um, grab the power pack and we can plug this in and see how it's all going to go together. Okay, so I have my power pack. We're going to plug things in. So basically, at the back on the yellow side, there is kind of a little kind of four dot hole. It kind of matches up um, with a two dot connection. So I guess it can go in a couple of orientations. It's quite a small USB cable actually. It's probably about a meter, I guess. Um, so let's see what happens when we plug this in so we can see how it goes. Oh, it lit up. It did shiny things. So it's pulsing. I guess that must mean that it is charging. So let's connect uh, up to the app and kind of see what's happening. Okay, so the GoCube app is opened and it says click on the GoCube you want to play with. Mine's saying this 960 76C. I'm assuming that's the beast, seeing as it's the only thing close. So let's select that and get it connected. So we do have to go through uh, a sign up process. So I will quickly, 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 quickly um, kind of sign up and uh, get ourselves playing. So we'll put username, Spectrum Geeks. Can we have a space? We can. Done. And let's put Okay, so we have uh, an option to add a photo, take a photo or do it later. I'll do that later. 
Okay, so here we go. Your GoCube is ready, connected for tons of fun. Time to try it out. Um, see what happens. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the, the, the gyros, or whatever it's using, must be pretty cool. In fact, it's doing that. So the blue's on top here. If I move it to the red's on top. Let's see if we can just sync a little bit better. Um, so to hold, calibration, hold your cube so the white center with the logo is facing up and the green is facing you. So that is like this. So red uh, over here, orange over here, green at the back, white on the top. So I do that. Just put on the flat surface a little bit. Okay, holding your cube in this position, white up, green front, click the sync icon at the bottom. There we go. Great. There we go, now it's perfectly synced. Oh, this is so cool. Even if you're not into cubes, right, you must appreciate how pretty damn awesome that is. Right, so let's have a little look. So we've got a couple of options in terms of what we're gonna do for gaming. I'm gonna unplug this a little bit because we assume it's gonna have a little bit of charge in it. Um, so let's see how this works. So I'm gonna say we're just gonna get started. So just getting started. Right, let's learn how to solve your cube. Tap to start Academy. So here we go. So I think the idea here is we're gonna learn just the basics um, of cubing. So it's kind of adding some game element uh, to this. So just to start, okay, so it's again, just making sure we're nicely calibrated. Make sure to keep your device sound on to helpful cues. Let's go, let's get our sounds on. Good question, now our sounds on. Actually on the top of the screen here, we can see that our cube has got 55% um, battery, so that's good. Um, so let's go. So centerpieces never move, no matter how much you shuffle them. So this Go logo here is not gonna be going anywhere. Um, shuffle your cube right now. So, ooh. So I guess we're just messing it up now, causing mayhem for ourselves. Okay, so we had a little issue there where the camera overheated. This product is so hot, it overheated the camera. So let's see, what is the color of the highlighted face? Hints, it may be on the back of your cube. So, let's, let's see. So here we can see I'm turning it around to face me now at the back and I press green. And it just shows I'm not colorblind. I know what I'm doing, right. So what's the color of the face directly opposite the yellow. So the yellow face is here, the really opposite is white. So it's just helping us orient ourselves around the cube so we kind of know what's going on. So how many edge pieces does your cube have? So two, four, six, eight, mm, twelve I guess. Okay, which edge piece goes in the highlighted spot in a solved cube? So if that was solved, uh, I guess it would be this orange and yellow one. So I kind of know what I'm doing, but this is really good how it's just teaching you the fundamental stuff. So I think if you're gonna have kids playing with this, this is gonna help them you know, with obviously good stuff, for understanding the colors better, but also just kind of understand technology a little bit. So no matter what we do with this cube, it continues to show us a center orientation of the cube. So that's pretty nice. I like it. Okay, so we can see here there's a few other options. So we have quick timer, solver, stats, and some cube stumes, which seems to be something coming soon, along with daily challenges and some fortune stuff. There's obviously some sort of leaderboard. Um, so if you're a pro, some amazing speeds that people are doing their cube solving. And different matches that we can do as well. So that looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's all sorts of games and academies and stuff going on. So let's uh, 
Can I clear things up a little bit and then we'll have a go at doing the solve option. So this can teach us how to solve a cube and make it from a mess into a beautiful thing that uh, you can display and show people how amazing it is. It's uh, one thing that is a little shame. It would be nice if we could get this to light up, I guess, whilst we're playing with it, just because it'd be quite cool. Um, but it's great that it kind of pulses a little bit whilst it's charging. So let's uh, clear up and then try and do a solve. Okay, so I've given the cube a good mix up. I've been learning in the past how to do cube solving, so I could probably do a few moves to try and start to get on my way, but the whole idea of this is that we can learn and practice using the cube and the app. So let's try this solve option and kind of see how things work. So it wants us to hold the cube, so the logo facing up and the green is towards us. So that is like this. This is so it can orientate itself. Right. Okay, so now it's showing us something that we need to do. So it's saying up and turn around here. That's good. It's telling us to move this one backwards, the front and clockwise, this one to the back, this one towards us, turn around here, this one back to us, this one around here, this one's forwards, this one around this way, turn again, this one towards us, this one anti-clockwise, this one turn all the way around and around again, bottom one and to the right, this one towards us, towards us again, front round there, round again, this one towards us, this is kind of really surreal just watching the screen and I'm just, I'm just like the robot moving the hands. Okay, again, and let's turn around this way, the bottom one. And here, again, it's back towards us, back towards us again. <laughs> and we've solved it, that was it. So obviously, if you're gonna pay attention and learn, then you can. this is gonna teach you how to solve the cube and get better with it. And I'm sure I'll do future videos once I've got to use it a little bit more, but that was the unboxing and the first try of the Go Cube. I think you agree with me, that's pretty amazing, it's kind of, Brand new tech with an old school kind of toy and puzzle. So great work to everyone at GoCube. And if you're into puzzles and cubing, I definitely think you wanna kind of check out one of these GoCubes. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Wanna also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.